My name is Ryan Wood and this is R Wood Outdoors. All right, folks. Well, I'm starting a journey kayaking and camping and fishing here in the 10,000 Islands on the Gulf Coast of Florida. Got a beautiful weekend here in November and just about to leave the marina and get on our way. Got a really cool trip planned. I hope you stay tuned. All right, folks, fish on. Just paddling down this long canal to start the trip off and trolling a jig behind me and had a nice fish smack it. All right, nice little jack. Look how old and dark that fish is. That's a beautiful fish. Canal tuna. So, normally I'd let something like this go, but uh, actually gonna save him for later, and we'll do some shark fishing this evening. Should be a perfect bait. All right, fish on. Beautiful little 10,000 Island snook right there. Nice little fish. <laughs> Alrighty, let's get this fish back in the water. Oh! There was my tarpon. <laughs> Well, on final approach to our destination, here on Hog Key in the 10,000 Islands. It took about 10 miles to get here, including some little side trips for fishing. And looks like a pretty spot. All right, here's home for the night. Night one here on the 10,000 Islands kayaking trip. Got the tent all set up and have a beautiful Gulf of Mexico sunset to look at as the day comes to a close. Let's check that out. Fishing. Let's see if I can get this fish. 
I'm probably the only guy that brings blue marlin gear on a kayaking trip. And, uh, I love playing with these sharks. Let's see if we can get this one to the beach. Alright, that's a caught fish, my friends. goes. Time for dinner. Campfire on the beach. That's good for the soul right there. All right folks, well a very successful first day out here kayaking and camping down the 10,000 islands on the Gulf Coast of Florida. Caught a lot of fish, which is always a nice bonus to the beautiful scenery we have out here. Time to get some shut-eye, and we'll see you in the morning. Well, good morning, folks. Just woke up, and, uh, threw out a topwater plug, and there's a nice fish on the end of it. So, let's see what I can get here. Best part is this is bait for something bigger. Shark on! Shark on! We just got leader, another nice lemon shark. One's a little bigger than last night. A lot of toothy critters in that water. Out. All right, got a nice lemon shark this morning. Really cool fish. Fishing here on Hog Key in the 10,000 Islands. Got the hook out, let's get this fish back in the water. And there she goes. All right, really nice release there on a good lemon shark. Now time to paddle to our next destination. All righty, it's day two on my trip kayaking and camping through the 10,000 Islands. Been a good morning so far, caught a nice Jack Ravel and turned that into a lemon shark. And now we got the camp packed up and headed on to our next destination. We got a favorable wind this morning, so I got the sail rigged up and I should be able to sit back and just enjoy the breeze. We'll see you on the water. I am going faster than I possibly could paddle or pedal, and I'm not moving a muscle. Just enjoying the breeze.
All right, doing some open water sailing here. Cruising along at about four miles an hour, about halfway to our destination for today, Cape Romano. Big sandy point near Marco Island in the 10,000 Islands. And just having a awesome time, white knuckle sail through a little bit of chop, but uh, having a real good time. Well, we're approaching the famous igloo houses of Cape Romano. Once high and dry, they're slowly being taken over by the sea. One of the iconic scenes of the 10,000 Islands here in Southwest Florida. Quite the landmark here in Cape Romano. Well, after an exciting sail across open water this morning, I made it to the Cape Romano Shoals, a little piece of paradise out here in the 10,000 Islands. All right, we got tuna tacos on the menu for lunch. Well, the sun's just starting to go down here on the Cape Romano Shoals. It's a beautiful second day. Great weather again, and should be a good night. Time to get camp set up. Okay, I got my tent set up and planning on spending the night here on this little piece of paradise. Just waking up here on day three of our journey through the 10,000 Islands in Southwest Florida. Unfortunately, the wind and the tide is not blowing in a favorable direction this morning, so we're gonna have to wait it out for a few hours for that tide to change. But uh, we'll see what the day brings, and hard to complain when you're sitting here in paradise. Starting to get some line back. Someone else caught him before me. He's got a tag in him. 354716. Have to send that into the NOAA shark tagging program and see where he's been. Uh, 51 to the fork. And 61 to the tip of the tail. 5161. Alright, got that circle hook right in the corner of the mouth. Pops out. Nice black tip shark here in 10,000 Islands, and it's got a tag in it, pretty cool. Time to let it go. All right, 
right, that fish has a lot of fight left in her. Pretty cool. Well, the journey continues here on day three of my expedition through the 10,000 islands in Southwest Florida. Had a great night camping here on the Cape Romano Shoals. Caught a nice shark this morning, that was pretty cool. And getting ready for a long haul across open water. Got about 11 miles to go to the next campsite. So gonna be a, a tough paddle, but fortunately the wind died down a little bit and uh, ready for the trek. We'll see you there. One of the many nice things about a pedal kayak is you can snack while you're on the move. Another benefit of a pedal kayak is being able to rig fishing line while you're on the move. Well, cruising along here, getting my miles in and threw a lure out the back of the kayak as I'm going down the waterway and picked up a few Spanish mackerel. Pretty fish and uh, that'll be good for some bait later. Home sweet home is up ahead. That sandy point sticking out there, that's Tiger Key. It's been a grueling paddle today. About 12 miles to this point. All open water until this last little bit. Land ho! Tiger Key. Another day, another Gulf of Mexico sunset. Ain't that pretty. My humble abode here on night three, kayaking in the 10,000 islands of Southwest Florida. Got the tent set up here on Tiger Key, a beautiful place, lots of memories, and gonna be a good night. Fish on, fish on. Start fishing from the tent here on Tiger Key. Just a little after dusk, and we got a good fish on. Got to get some line back and get my hands on her. All right, got my little shark here. Not big, but he's a shark. Well, it's the last night of my trip here and uh, still catching sharks. This one isn't too big, but a uh, pretty little black tip. I love these things. Beautiful fish in a beautiful place. Let's get it back in the water and set it free. See ya. Well, good morning, folks. Welcome to day four of the kayaking and camping expedition through the 10,000 islands. Technically, it's still night three, I suppose. It's 4 a.m., but uh, instead of sleeping in this morning, we got a tide to catch. Uh, the tides in this area are really extreme and you don't wanna be fighting them, and uh, that's our ticket home. So unless we wanna get back really, really late tonight, it means it's an early morning to catch the tide. Time to get on the water and navigate the mangrove maze by GPS alone, because there's not any moon or any daylight yet. It's pitch black out here. Should be fun. See you on the water. First mile in of nighttime navigation. It is pitch black out there. But we're charging ahead. 
Gotta get our miles in while we got the tide. Well, here we are, day four. Kayaking through the 10,000 Islands. It's been an interesting morning so far. Left uh, Tiger Key at zero dark 30 to catch the tide. Had some big miles today, so you want to pick a favorable tide, which we did. Uh, now that the sun's starting to come up, we got fog. So <laughs> everything up until this point has been navigating with the GPS, which, hey, it's pretty cool. I've uh, been in these parts before, but this is really uh, a mangrove maze. And it's easy to get lost out here. GPS is really important. Onward. Well, here we are on the home stretch, the long straight canal leading us back to Port of the Islands Marina. All right. All right, trolled up a nice mangrove snapper here. That's a pretty fish. See ya. Well, this concludes our journey, kayaking and camping through the 10,000 islands in Southwest Florida. Four days, three nights, and 43 miles covered. Uh, just a beautiful place to uh, spend a long weekend. Hey, if you enjoyed this episode of Our Wood Outdoors, be sure to subscribe and ring that little bell. My name is Ryan Wood, and we'll see you next time.